I'm Yvette Rios here on eHow.com and I wanted to show you guys a little way that maybe you could actually make something that you collect useful. So lots of people collect different things. I personally collect wine corks. And I do it because, you know, there's certain bottles of wine that I want to remember, or maybe it's a trip that I've taken and I just collect the corks. So here's a cool way that you can make a little bowl of corks like this into something actually useful. I actually learned this from a friend. I think it's super clever. So I'm just going to take my corks that I have here, and I'm using what's called a pipe clamp or a pipe strap. This you can get at any hardware store. They're literally less than a, a dollar. You can get different sizes of them. You can get smaller ones or bigger ones. I'm doing trivet size, but you can actually make coaster size. And the cool thing about this is it's got a little screw in here that tightens it up so it clamps it real tight. So I'm going to set that out on my table, and then I'm going to take my corks and just start filling them in. And I've got all sorts of corks here. I've got champagne corks. I've got wine corks. You can kind of mix them and match them. And you want to put some of them with the red side up and some of them, you know, with the dry side down, whatever you want. You want to make sure that these corks are nice and dry. And you want to try to use real corks because these actually end up kind of sticking together and creating a good bond. So I'm just sort of going to sort of lay them out like this. There's no real method to this. You can kind of have fun with it. And this is also a great gift idea if you have a real wine lover, like Rach loves wine, so she would think this is just the coolest. So you're just going to fill them in like that. And again, put some face up and face down. That's going to make sure that it's interesting on both sides. And then you want to kind of squeeze them in towards the end. You're going to sort of shuffle them around. You know how they do in the uh, subway trains when you take the subway in New York? You always can get a couple more people in there. Just squeeze them in. Once you've got them pretty tightly packed in there, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of scoot them down. So just kind of press them down so that the pipe clamp is, oh, I lost one, is sort of around the center of the corks. And you're going to want to make sure that you kind of push it right into the halfway mark of the corks because that's going to make sure that when you tighten it, you're not pushing them out one way or the other. So I think that's about right. And you're going to see that they're a little bit loose, but you're going to tighten it up and that's going to really pinch them all together. And you're just going to turn it like that. And while you're doing that, you know, keep making sure that the corks are nice and squeezed in there. And you're going to want to tighten it up nice and tight because the idea here is that this is the kind of thing that you tighten up once and you can kind of throw it around and it all stays in there. You'll kind of feel when it can't go anymore. And that's where you want to stop. There you go. Nice and tight. And now you've got a trivet that's beautiful and useful, and it also conveys lots of memories and makes a great gift. You can put all sorts of hot dishes on here because it is cork. There you go. Super easy. I'm Yvette Rios. Thanks for watching, and check me out again on eHow.com.